Pitt, 45. Wake Forest, 21. Another one that we don't have to spend a ton of time on. Uh, Pitt's postgame win expectancy was 95%. Wake, with all of the interceptions, what in the hell, Sam Hartman, four interceptions. And that that was basically the ball game. Like, it, it, Pitt and their defense. Hell, the ball game of this game was we didn't get, we got three points scored in two and a half quarters. From these two teams? Well, so oh, so here's yes. what we got. It was um it was twenty one to fourteen at the end of the first quarter, and then Wake Forest did not score again. But Pitt fourteen points in the first quarter, ten points in the second quarter, seven in the third, and then fourteen in the fourth. I mean, they they scored as they went along. All those points of that the, the, the last three touchdowns were all defensive touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. So that's not, but that's not them scoring. That's no, not no, offensive no. Offensive football being awesome. Hey, this was supposed to be offensive football being awesome. Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be. It was not that. For the first quarter, it was absolutely that. So For I've the been rest told. Of the game, it was like a defensive juggernaut game. What the hell are we doing? We didn't sign up for that shit. I went to watch that. I watched the Big Ten. Yeah. I want to see five turnovers and defensive scores and no offensive points. I watched the Big Ten. I come to the ACC, AAC, whatever. <laughs> ACC. That's right. I had it right the first time. Because so, I want to see some points. The, the, the field in Charlotte, I have been told. Like nobody, nobody scores there for whatever reason, right? That doesn't make any sense. You I don't like understand field, it. Yeah, I don't. Matters. I don't know. I don't know. But I had been told before the game that hey, it's going to be like this will be an under, and I was like, what? that makes no sense. Like just because, because of the field, like the it's, field. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. But that's what I was told, and it ended up playing out right. So that, 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 that doesn't sound right. That sounds. I need to, I need to, I need to hear some logic. I need to see some science. Like I need more information than somebody just saying, "Well, that people don't score in Charlotte." Like it just, it's like a black hole. It's like a sinkhole that just doesn't happen. Like that doesn't make any sense. I mean, and so what? It, one thing that I was told is that the wind blows like it, it makes it incredibly difficult to throw the football. But that's just, that's just weird. Gary Lewis, by the way, jumped in and said, uh, "Narduzzi is Big Ten. So he, he normally is. This season he has not been. This season no, they've hung no. forty on everybody. Yeah, they and certainly played have. no defense. By the way, no defense at all. What did you think about Kenny Pickett and and the fake slide early? Uh, okay, so it looks really cool and it's a great trick. But I'm going to tell you that that can't be allowed. It yeah. just like that has to be a. I, I'm not saying it should be a penalty, but as soon as you look like you're giving yourself up, if we're going to protect the quarterbacks the way we have. Uh, this for the last five six years. As soon as you look like you're giving yourself up, you've given yourself up, and you're down right there. Yes, you That's cannot it. fake that because it's not fair no. to the defense. Like it you, does if it, look cool, but if a defensive player says you tricked me once, and the next time I just plow into you, then because because I'm going to tell you like that may go back to another Patriots Super Bowl, the, the the Seahawks Super Bowl where the ball is flipped up in the air and Lockett catches it laying on the ground. There's a Patriot player running in from the side about to lay the boom, and then he sees the ball's like, okay, Lockett doesn't have it, and he jumps out. He hurdles Lockett instead of doing it, and then the ball falls on Lockett. He's like, man, if I plow into him, I'm guaranteed a 15-yard penalty, and they yes. get a first down. Like, like there's it's a no-win situation. The ball just happened to fall on his chest, but if I break that up, then then I'm I'm definitely getting the 15 yarder and they get the first down. It's a it's a lose situation all the way around for defensive guys. So much if you're gonna if you're gonna fake the slide as soon as you look like you're giving yourself up, I, we're gonna we're just gonna call you down right there. Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna be a penalty. I don't think it's a, just call you down right there. That's yes, it. it does look cool. It was awesome. It was fun to watch. You get one because we didn't know that a human being could do this. Yes. Now that we know that people are capable of doing this, uh, we, we're going we to allow it. Down. it. Yeah. We're going to call it down every time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.